Hey everyone, Icon here. Welcome back to another episode of Esports Analysis. Today we hop back on board with Seth Scumpy Abner, along with RCD's Envoy, Formal, and Gunless from the Chicago Huntsman as they battle Optic Gaming LA, JCap Kenny, Slasher, TJ Halley, and Dashy. Before we dive too deep into this one and talk about the strategy, I do want to say that for the past couple weeks, whenever these two teams have scrimmed, there's been a clear advantage in terms of Chicago. And a lot of it, it's you're gonna notice, especially as you watch this scrim that it's not even so much about positioning and having spawns and rotations and stuff like that a lot of it is just the slaying power it just seems like at the end of each game if you're to go ahead and look at the total amount of kills chicago always has like at least probably 20 or 30 more kills than optic does however with all of that aside let's go ahead and let's talk about strategy a little bit so right now optic got the bad spawn so they're trying to flip spawns so Right now, in Hill, they have a 32-4 to lead. And you'll see when Seth comes off spawn here, he's repeatedly going back and towards Bar. And what they do is they end up flipping these spawns. And you'll see that rather than run into Bar, they have a couple people in Bar. They have a couple people going through Blue Courtyard. Right now, Optic has a couple people in Hill. So when the Hill comes up, you'll see that Optic has control of it. But they end up getting slayed out. So here, when Skump comes back off spawn, now he's spawning by River. And then now, look at his mini-map. Although right now, if you Look at the mini map there are only people inside the hill they've slayed out everybody from optic so when seth comes off spawn now they're spawning bar and they're getting the beneficial spawn for this second heart point so this is where you want to be now what you've seen lately is that there are basically smokes everywhere it's really easy to get through those bad spawns just by throwing smokes in the cuts and then getting in but again, Seth died when he comes off spawn. He's back in this bar spawn. And if you pay attention to the score, it's no longer like a 20 or 30 point game. By the end of this hill, there's still 16 seconds left. And all of those points are going to go Chicago's way. So by the end of this one, this is already basically an insurmountable lead. Now, of course, you can come back if you were to control a couple hills in a row. But this is a massive lead. And not only does it come from breaking spawns on that second hill, but they were also able to slay out and control spawns spawns for that first hill so where Seth just spawned right now that's the first hill so now as they go ahead and rotate into the third one this is going to be a little bit harder to break if we're talking about strategy for this hill this is one that's really strong spawn logic so Seth is trying to work towards the back he gets a couple of kills here but they're still spawning way back in that back corner and that's the spawn that you want to have for this third hill so even though look at where Seth is spawning they're spawning right here they're trying really hard to get them out of spawns it's just it's just such strong spawn spawn logic that they're having a pretty tough time doing it so with about 23 seconds left now they've went ahead and they've flipped those spawns but i almost feel like they should have just backed off so for 16 seconds left for 15 seconds they still don't have sole control of the hill it's not until right here with about 11 seconds left that they actually get control and i feel like they might have pushed at that one a little bit too far the lead is massive so this is obviously a really large lead but i think it would have been more beneficial for them to just go ahead and just give optic that last 15 or 20 seconds and just set up for this bar hill because this bar hill is one where you can easily if you have spawns and if you go ahead and push forward into cuts a little bit this is one where you can max out the 60 points so if we're really talking about strategy here just look at the mini map in the bottom right hand corner you could almost get away with fighting for hills one and five if you can go 50 50 on hills one and five that's perfectly fine right if those are plus minus zero that doesn't really matter but if you control spawns on the right side of the map for the second hill and the fourth hill and then you basically give up and you just fight for spawns on that third hill, you could easily win this game just by holding that side of the map. I think what you'll see teams do as we get a little bit further down the road in this game, I think what you'll see is, say you're going from the second hill to the third hill. If you control spawns for the second hill, as it rotates to third, I think what you'll see teams do is try to contest that third hill as much as you can, but also spawn trap them back in that corner. Because if you just keep them back in that third hill, when it rotates to fourth, you can then go ahead and try to max out the majority of those points. With that said, if we hop back into the strategy here, and this is now the fifth hill, which is in the middle, obviously. This is one that's kind of like scrap time. If you can get some points, great. If not, that's fine. 
The only thing you want to do is you want to hold down spawns in that back bar area. On this set of rotations, you're going to notice that Chicago does a really nice job. Even though they don't have control of the hard point right now, they are going to get it. And at the end of this hill, they're going to have like a 100-point lead. So if you look at the bottom left, there's like a 70-point lead right now. But they went ahead and slayed out, and they're going to get the rest of these 20 seconds. So as they go ahead and rotate back to the first hard point and the second set of rotations, they're going to go into that set of rotations with a 100-point lead. The only thing that they're not going to have is you'll see Seth died right there. And when he comes back, they're not going to have spawns. So they spawned at that third hard point which is where you don't want to be again you want to be on bar side so that you can set up for that second and that fourth hill so they're going to fight through this but with that as we get to the second set of rotations this is usually when i go ahead and throw you guys into a listen in so that you can listen to their communication see what they're talking about and pick up on any strategy they, that they might be planning as the second set of rotations come through so with that let's go ahead send you guys into a listen in I just ran through. Far weak. Far weak. I just flipped him. I spawned mid. No, we didn't flip him. We didn't flip him. Oh my god. No, just keep getting inside bar. Move in. Move in. Mid dead. In the back. Got a bar. He knows you're there. It's cannon. Top bar. Top bar. Top bar. I'm playing for top bar. Dude, how are they still spawning here, brother? Bottom bar is open. I'm pushing out river. I'm pushing out river, guys. I think top bar. Bottom bar is open. I'm getting... I'm getting... There's 20 lines. We'll slap Austin. I got one line. Courtyard, courtyard, closer. One's bottom bar, bottom bar, and oh, bottom river, bar, and oh, bottom bar. I'm, I'm getting blue. I'm getting top blue. I'm getting top blue. I have time. I have time. Bro, why can't? Oh, what did I just see? R help him right. Help river, him. River, 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 river. I'm trying to stay down. Go, go, go down this guy at all. I'm pressure on a beginning. River got me, Brandon. You got two, two, two. Kenny and Brandon. 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 I'm rotating over. I'm not rotating over. I'm crossing it. I got time, Matt. Go. One. You're missing cross, the street, Dad. Court dead. There should be arch. There should be arch. Watching arch. I have one street. Yeah, yeah, arch, 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 arch. Got him. There, three of them, three of them. Two more, two more. One flying. One hill, one guys, one hill. Yeah, I will. Oh Alright, so as I hop back on board with you, unfortunately we're not going to have too much of a listen in there because this game is going to be over in about 22 seconds. So, hope you enjoy this video. If there's anything you have questions about, make sure you let me know down in the questions below. I just want to say thank you to all the new people that are watching and subscribing. With that said, about 70% of the people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of things planned when the CDL rolls around, so I'm going to cover all of those matches, put out multiple videos a day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And with that, thank you guys so much for checking out another video. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you.